here at the Viking VIP yard. We just hopped on a new 46 Valhalla. This boat is outfitted with two 4500s on one of our sea chests. It's got three live wells, two 4500s going in the manifolds. The system's working great. It's got a two inch high speed pickup and an inch and a half going through the bottom. Got our flapper valve in place, seat chest is staying full. Just want to show you a few things. So right now, live well pump two is off. We have the valve closed off. So that way the water coming in from pump one is not recirculating back into the seat chest. This is the reason why we keep this one closed off. The water is going to want to take the least path of resistance. So of course it's going to want to go in the inch and a half hose into the manifold back into the sea chest. So anytime we're not using a pump, we wanna make sure that we keep this valve closed. And on the manifold, we have three live wells. We've got two in the transom and one in the front lounge area. To force more water to the lounge live well, we're gonna to wanna to close these valves off a little bit. I'll stand up and show you that the live wells are full in the back. Here we've got the transom port live well pressurized and we have the starboard one right here filling up and we also have a third live well up front so anytime you have multiple pumps going into one of our manifolds you're going to want to make sure you dial in your manifold system properly to ensure that all your live wells are getting proper flow you may have a bunch of pilchards in the back transom live well that need a bunch of flow but only a couple dozen gogs in the front so you want to make sure that you deviate the flow properly. We've got 4,500 gallons an hour to divide up into three live wells. If you have any questions, you can check out more of our videos on our YouTube, Instagram, or give us a call here at the shop to outfit your new boat.